And my dad said, were well, you a Trump supporter or something? And I'm like, listen, uh, one of your biggest heroes, one of my biggest heroes, Malcolm X, was definitely somebody who was for owning guns. And my dad said, yeah, well, when he went to Hajj, when he went to Mecca and he went to Orthodox Islam, that changed. And I'm like, don't put Malcolm X's name in your mouth when you literally don't know what you're speaking on because I read his biography about three times and nowhere has he said this because you need to realize a country like America, how the guns have been introduced to the people, you can't just take it away from them because then you'll have helpless civilians. And um, if I don't have a gun, then what's protecting me and my family when some fucking white supremacist tries to come into my house and tries to gun down my family? What Like, uh, it was a quote I read. You're only a pacifist if you are capable of violence. If you're not capable of violence, you are just harmless. And um, the conversation ended in my dad saying, we're never discussing this subject in this household again. Because I think he knew I was right, but he didn't want to admit it. See what I mean? So that kind of just got me mad as fuck that he was speaking about Malcolm X, this and that, and then trying to say that after he went to Hajj, he wasn't for guns anymore. And that just kind of inspired me to make this song. I mean, Orthodox Islam, fam. What do you think? Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia are some of the biggest arms buyers in the world. <laughs> like, like, it's not like, not them well, who's... I, I, I can't even... To bomb Africa. I can't even... I can't even talk about this shit to my dad because he's like, you know, turn the other cheek, be the better person. I'm like, turning the other cheek is what's getting our people killed. See what I mean? That's not how you're going to be free. You can't expect white people to have heaven here and then we'll have heaven in the afters. No, you need to take shit into your own hands. If you want to protect your family, you need to do that. And in a country like America, if you don't have a gun, they are just a target and you're harmless. Mm. So he didn't like that conversation. He didn't like my tone at all in that conversation, man. Yeah, well, the thing is, is a lot of the people, they get to where they are comfortable and they stay there. You know? And I think the problem with a lot of parents is their ego stands in their way from thinking that they can actually learn something from their child because a lot of this generation is getting more intelligent, uh, emotionally intelligent and in different aspects um, than their parents, see what I mean? No, 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 you can put that. Uh, this is, I'm going to break my fast soon. Bring me some watermelon in the life. Ah, nice, I just, I just finished my smoothie right before 4 a.m. because we're not allowed to eat anymore after 4 a.m. But I had some sea moss in it, blueberries, strawberries, banana, and coconut milk. Well... You got all the right ideas. You just gotta get the work. You just gotta get the workouts in, fam. Yeah, man, definitely. <laughs> Bro, you know what somebody's saying in the comments? Reporting live from space, hot news. Thank you for the compliments. I appreciate that. My Insta is um, underscore Kareem official underscore for the people that want to know. So Shaka, share yeah. share an un unpopular opinion with me that you have. An unpopular opinion that no woman who's not African is gonna have my children. <laughs> 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 that's subjective though that's not an unpopular opinion we share that opinion man people are okay how old are you Korean? I am 21 years old so I'm young I live in the Netherlands, but I'm half Scottish and half North African. They don't need you, they don't need me. They'll see you on MTV, Michael Jackson. 
Then turn back black and then they killed him and dropped his CD. Something's missing, something's missing. Different white folks on black entertainment television. That's why I'm saying me a god. Genji, Genji, shut the fuck up, man. I'm always seeing you post weird ass shit in this live. Don't even, don't even come at me. I don't want to answer your questions, Genji. You be posting some weird shit in these comments. What's he saying? Genji, no, nah, I always see this person popping in your life, saying hella controversial shit and just trying to stir the pot. And she's saying, add me back to talk a question. I'm like, nah, fuck off, bro. <laughs> It's just a youth that wants attention, isn't it? Maybe he's lonely. <laughs> it's still in school, isn't it? Nah, fam. These people, not everybody deserves your energy, man. And uh, <laughs> people ask me what star sign. I'm a Capricorn. See, apparently we're the same star sign. Apparently. Oh, for real? What's your, what's your birthday? 25th of December. <laughs> nice, man. 29th. Yeah, man. Listen to these lyrics. Yeah, I speak in Italian. You know, I don't make Dutch music, only make English music. You the fuck asking if I'm gay, fam. Shut the fuck up. People are saying what? I'm gay, fam. What? People are saying in the comments that he's gay. Why? I don't even know, man. Ah, I don't need to know God. either. Yeah, digestion. Yeah. Okay. You can put in the bag. In in yeah, in this one. Cop con cap. Looking after me. Um. What am I saying? I'm just talk shit. Bro, tell, all tell, these comments, man. People tell me talk. who I tell, tell tell me who I need to bring in and cuss. I'm ready. Huh? I said, tell me who I need to bring in and cuss. I'm ready. Nah, it's not even worth your energy. I'm telling you, man. Nah, people have to be put in their place. I don't have people in here talking shit. Same people who won't say nothing to me in the street. Then they can talk big in the comments. In my Go and talk shit on your own Instagram and a platform that you build. Otherwise, fuck off. Well, bro, Instagram is full of a lot of these internet warriors, man. Uh, not warriors in real life, just in the keyboard, isn't it? Exactly. Gunzu, you say add me, I have a question. Ask the question in the live if it's that important and I'll answer. <laughs> I'm not seeing you comment anymore, Gunzu. I told you you can ask the question. <laughs> Can I share some ambitions with you that I have? Yep. Go on. All right, so basically, I've made steps in my life. A 10-year ten, ten plan or whatever you want to call it. So three steps. Step one, make an income off of my passion, which is making music and uh, gain financial independence through that. 
Step two, build generational wealth within my family. So invest in real estate, invest in land, invest in multiple forms of income so that when my children are dead, that their children can still live off of the legacy I've left behind them. And when I've acquired that wealth within my family, step three, giving back to my people. I want to start projects in Africa. I want to provide villages with ele electricity, infrastructure, uh, food. I just want to do what I can to give back. You see what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know Whenever what? I share these things, people tell me, dream smaller, be realistic. And it just pisses me off. I'm like, okay, you want to live in the same place you were born for the rest of your life? That's cool. But don't try and downgrade my dreams because my big thinking makes them insecure. But them no reach, no oh, well, them get the thing about music is this, Bridget. Try to do an e-commerce business because music doesn't always work. That's definitely true. Like, there's enough of our people who think that they're going to make it in some kind of entertainment industry but really if you have a good e-commerce business or you don't have to do nothing once that business is up and running just pay people to manage it and you just collect money whereas music you always have to be creative put out new stuff promo tour album pay for everybody if you're independent anyway it's long that's true that's true but I do believe in following your passion, though, because I really, music is my outlet, you see what I mean? And if I can capitalize on it, then I would gladly, but I do keep in mind that I need to have a safety net for the plans I have after that, so it can't be the only thing that I'm heading for, if you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, do music regardless, just have a backup plan. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Because I definitely... I've got this, um, my family owns a flat in Morocco, which uh, I plan on buying off later. My sisters always say, you know, why is he getting to own it when in the heritage? And I'm like, because you're not going to do shit with it. I want to pimp the whole flat. I want to rent it out and I want to build uh, an income that's constant and consistent. See what I mean? And from that, I want to expand and keep buying more land, more buildings so that I can just keep creating these forms of income that I can use then again to give back to my people. Mm. Well, shit. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, man, definitely. But I just need to take the steps that are necessary, man. You have a word of advice? Yeah, remain consistent. Don't do nothing that you wouldn't be doing in 10 years. Um, if you have a 10-year plan, then work your way back so that you know what you're doing year nine, year seven, year eight, etc., etc. Don't be like, mm, in 10 years, I want to have built an entire community. But year one, um, I'm just going to do, I don't know, make a small amount of money when really you should be doing what you know you need to do to get to that 10 year stage. So that being make a small amount of money, create a network, study, you know, befriend a couple architects, etc., etc. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll just be, the, the, you'll be lost. You'll be the blind leading the blind because there's people that have done everything that you want to do. They've already done it. So try and find mentors who've done that in it. True, true, true. Looking for a mentor is actually a good idea, but I need to find somebody who believes in the vision I have, though. See what I mean? I can't have somebody just leading me and then find out that's for their own benefit, if you get what I mean, because they can see what can come from it. Yeah, but also, um, nobody's born big. You will make mistakes. It's okay. That's and I feel like something like mistakes is something that's too demonized in, in many cultures. Like you failed and you're 